type of injuries might you sustain when fighting your dad? And what is one of the most expensive surgical procedures performed in the US? Well guys, today to celebrate the upcoming release of Invincible Season 2, we're going to be taking a look back at all of Mark's fights, breaking down the fight injuries and calculating his total medical bill. And for those of you that are interested in where I get my medical bills data, I'll leave a link down below to a CBS News document that listed the top 50 most expensive procedures in the US. So feel free to follow along with that document in today's video. Otherwise, please give this video a like to help support the channel. And if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, so to start off with, he's been burnt, electrocuted, and then thrown into this wall. Where shall we begin? Let's start with the burn. Now, depending on the extent of the burn, he might just need to run that under the tap, or alternatively, he might need skin grafting. Now, for this procedure, healthy skin is taken from around the body and relocated to the burn area, but this comes in at a hefty cost of around $50,000. Oh god, so if he wasn't burnt enough already, he then gets electrocuted. And the worry with an electrocution is that it can trigger off fatal arrhythmias that cause the heart to beat out of sync. So in cases like this, patients often need 24 hours of heart monitoring in hospital, and this comes in at a cost of $10,000 per night. Goodness me, you pay less to stay in the Burj Khalifa. Oh god, stamping on someone's head. Now you've definitely got to be worried about skull fractures, but also potentially bleeding around the brain. So he's definitely going to need a skull x-ray to see what's broken, and then he's going to need a further CT scan to see if there's any bleeding around the brain, which comes in at around $5,000. And if there's significant bleeding around the brain, he may well need a surgical procedure to evacuate this blood, and this will come in at a cost of around $112,000. I was promised this world offered worthy opponents. But oh, how you disappoint. Oh goodness, so we actually hear the cracking of Mark's bones as his legs get stepped on. Clearly he's going to need an x-ray to see what bones are broken and this comes in at a cost of $250. And then the surgery to repair it with some sort of fixation device could cost up to $30,000. Killing you is an act of mercy. Oh, that is brutal. Now, I'm not sure if this is blunt force trauma as we see loads of blood come flying out of him there. And taking an injury like this to the abdomen, you'd be worried about internal organ damage, such as to the liver or spleen, which if they rupture, can cause massive internal bleeding. So Mark would likely need an explorative laparotomy, whereby a surgeon opens you up to see what's damaged. And this comes in at a cost of $62,000. And that's without them even knowing what's wrong yet. He's losing too much blood. Get pressure on that wound. Quick, check his pupils. Are we gonna lose him? It's a possibility, sir. No, we need him. Do whatever it takes. So clearly, we can see that Mark's lost a lot of blood from all these injuries as we see them setting up a blood transfusion. Now, unfortunately, that's not going to be for free, with every unit of blood costing around $700. And for the complete procedure, you're looking at 2.5k. And let's not forget the air ambulance that will need to transport his body from here to a hospital. And the average cost of an air ambulance is around $35,000. So just for this initial scuffle, we can see that Mark's medical bills are already over $300,000. Let's see if he can break into a million. You don't know what you're saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. So be it. OK, 
Okay, so here we see the first few blows between father and son, as Omni-Man smashes Mark in the back. And here, you've definitely got to be worried about fractures to the underlying vertebral column. And the best way to visualize these is with a CT scan, adding another 5K to Mark's total. Now, the real danger with such fractures is that if they become displaced, they can actually encroach on the spinal cord, leading to paralysis below that injury. Do you really think you can stop me? Oh, so, with the way that Omni-Man's twisting Mark's fist and his wrist, you'd be worried about him causing a fracture called a spiral fracture, and this could be either to the radius, the ulna, or both bones in the forearm. So, he'll need an x-ray to see the extent of the damage, and in terms of treatment, he could either need a cast all the way through to surgery requiring plates and screws, coming in at a cost of around $12,000. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, God. This is pretty strict parenting we've got going on here. Please don't try this at home. But we see a direct punch to Mark's face, and it looks like a broken nose. I'm sure an x-ray would help to confirm this. Normally, we'd bring patients back about a week after the injury, when all the swellings calm down, to try to realign it at that point. And, if there's no success, would offer them a surgery to correct this called a septoplasty, coming in at around $10,000. Did seeing that man lose his life disturb you? Did it hurt? Well, let's see how you handle this. <laughs> Gosh, that punch blew him straight through a whole building. I wouldn't even know where to start with the types of injuries that going through a building would sustain. So in an instance like this, we'd normally perform what's called a skeletal survey where all the bones in the body are x-rayed to check where the broken ones are. Now that would definitely cover all the hard tissues, but what about all the organs? In this instance, we perform a fast scan, which is an ultrasound scan that looks at all your vital structures, like your aorta, and this comes in at a further cost of around two and a half thousand dollars. For the first time in your life, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Gosh, getting face planted through concrete and then directly onto a railway track. I think we're probably looking at more significant fractures than just a nasal fracture alone. I think we've got to consider fractures to both the maxillary as well as the zygomatic bone too. Nonetheless, I'm sure some x-rays will tell us the extent of damage, but facial reconstructive surgery comes in at a jaw-dropping $55,000. Hopefully his dad manages all the bills. Maybe this time you'll learn. Oh goodness, what a horrific thing to do to your son. Not only leaving him with psychological injuries like PTSD, but also physical ones too. With all that glass and metal flying around, you've got to be worried about severe lacerations up and down the body. And with some of these being facial lacerations, you'd probably want to involve a plastic surgeon so that you end up with minimal scarring. And this will come in at a cost of around 10 thousand dollars. But don't worry, they'll get you looking great in no time. These people are meaningless. They're cavemen without us. Yeah, so seeing all this trauma, it's quite easy to forget that Mark is just your average teenager. And so witnessing all of this is going to be traumatic, especially when it's at the hands of your own father. So I'd be really concerned about something like PTSD, for which he may well need counseling. Now the average cost per hour for a counselor is around $150. Let's say he has three sessions per week for up to six months, he's gonna be paying out at just over $10,000.
gosh. So, further trauma to Mark's back as he takes a direct punch into the mid-thoracic vertebrae. Is there anything else left to x-ray? Now, the more trauma he sustains to his back, the greater the risk of serious spinal cord injuries. And in fact, when you have multiple vertebrae that are broken, this can lead to severe pain and instability in the spine, often warranting surgery such as spinal fusion. Effectively, what happens in this surgery is that your vertebral column is fused together to make it more stable. And this comes in at a cost of around $70,000. Who can afford to pay for these bills? You don't know me. I will burn this planet down. Okay, so Omni-Man clearly has no concept of the term mercy as he delivers several blows to Mark's head. And of course, you've all guessed it, would really be worried about a concussion as a brain's been smacking against his skull. Even worse, we could be looking at something like a subdural hematoma or bleeding on the outside of the brain, which would then need surgery to evacuate. I think a good initial starting point though would be to get a CT head scan to see the extent of the damage coming in at a further $5,000. Your true education begins now. <laughs> Bloody hell, throwing him through the Titanic, taking him down to the ocean bed. What else more could he do to him? But it looks like by the time Mark hits the ocean floor, he's already unconscious. But this doesn't mean that he's not breathing. Now, the concern with this is that he may well be inhaling seawater, causing a serious lung infection called an aspiration pneumonia. Normally, you'd examine the person and then get an x-ray, but ultimately, you're going to need to treat the person with a week's worth of oral antibiotics, coming in at a cost of around $200. So, like it wasn't bad enough to throw him into a mountain, he follows this up with a punch directly to his sternum, otherwise known as your breastbone. Now, with the impact that punch has had on the mountain behind him, you'd definitely be concerned about a sternal fracture, and you'd be worried about whether the bone fragments have then penetrated through into the chest cavity, injuring the lungs and possibly even the heart. So, you'd need to get a chest x-ray to see if the sternum is in fact fractured, but I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting explorative chest surgery to see what underlying organs are damaged, and you're not going to believe this, but it comes in at a cost of $140,000. Just hearing that myself is pretty unbelievable. Had enough yet? To be honest, I was just about to ask the same thing myself. Have you not had enough yet? But to compound things further, becoming hypothermic under an avalanche can definitely be life-threatening. So whenever Mark does ultimately get medical assistance, he's gonna need rewarming. And this can either be done by being administered warm IV fluids or given a heated blanket. Now, I don't really know the charge the hospital would give you, but I own an electric blanket and I think that cost me $50. The IV fluids, you're probably looking at under a thousand dollars. Hey Mark, maybe next time pack a ski jacket. I'll stop you. I'm ready when you are. You're doing this for nothing. Being a part of the Empire will make Earth better than it ever was. Oh, so a further blow to Mark's face. And we can see that his eye becomes swollen and comparing it to the other side, it looks a little sunken too. Now, to the trained medical expert, this could suggest that he has an orbital floor fracture, which is a fracture of the bone that surrounds the eye. Now, this is potentially sight-threatening, so it does need urgent surgery to repair that bone and restore the eye to its normal anatomical position. And the cost of this surgery comes in at around $12,000. I won't let you. You want to die for this planet? Fine! What's 17 more years?
Now it's clear to see that he's lost several teeth after taking those blows to the face, which would suggest that not only has he lost the teeth, but also has he fractured the maxillary bone that normally holds your teeth in place. So we're going to need to get some dental x-rays and if he ends up needing further reconstructive surgery, this will come in at a cost of around $40,000. That's not to mention the dental implants that he'll also need to replace those that he's lost. These come in at a cost of anywhere between 4 to 8k and so in total I think I saw he lost three teeth so he'll probably end up paying around 52k for the whole procedure. Why did you make me do this? You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark. You'll outlast every fragile, insignificant being on this planet. Goodness me, he doesn't look anything like the character that we'd seen in previous episodes. However, you'd be quite surprised to see how quickly all this bruising and swelling can heal up, so long as the underlying bone structure is all intact. But just seeing Mark covered in blood, I suspect he's going to need a further blood transfusion, adding a further $3,000 to his medical bill. What will you have after 500 years? Are you that? I still have you. So here we can hear that Mark is really struggling to breathe and this could be for a number of different reasons. The first is that he might have a pneumothorax whereby his ribs have penetrated into the lungs causing them to pop and effectively deflate themselves. The alternative is that his lungs have in fact collapsed and they're beginning to fill up with blood. Both of these two things are emergencies needing urgent treatment. Really, the way to confirm these are by getting a chest x-ray and ultimately, regardless of what it is, he'll likely need a chest drain to help reinflate the lungs, coming in at around $7,000. So there appears to be some hope left for Mark as Omni-Man chooses not to deliver that fatal blow and we see a tear roll down his cheek as he disappears off into space. However, it doesn't all look good for Mark as he's going to need an air ambulance to get him off of that mountain and into a hospital, adding a further $35,000. Now all of this brings Mark's medical bill to a total sum of this, which I'm sure you'll agree is pretty ridiculous. Now I've seen that season 2 of Invincible is coming soon, so we'll just leave a pin in Mark's medical bill for now as it may well climb up as those following episodes come out. Okay guys, that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to support the channel by giving this video a like. And if you're free just now and you want to see more, I'll leave two videos up here for you to choose from. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.